Hello. In this video, I demonstrate how to carry out binary logistic regression using Stata, including various post-estimation commands. I also include a demonstration of logistic regression with robust standard errors. Links for this PowerPoint, the data, and the text file containing the commands that are used in this video will be provided underneath the video description. Although the video focuses mainly on procedures for carrying out the analyses, this PowerPoint also covers interpretation of the results generated during the demonstration. So if you like the video and the materials that are made available to you, please take time to like the video and share it with others, and also please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. So for our example, we are attempting to predict the likelihood of early termination from counseling based on a sample of 45 clients at a community mental health center. The dependent variable in the model is terminate, which is coded one for terminated early, zero did not terminate early, where the did not terminate group is the reference or baseline category and the terminated early group is the target category. Two predictors in the model are categorical, gender identification, which is coded zero for identified as male, one for identified as female, and income, which is an ordinal variable coded one for low, two for medium, and three for high. The reference category for gender ID is male identification, whereas the reference category for income is the low income group. Finally, two predictors are assumed continuous in the model, avoidance of disclosure and symptom severity. Okay, so here we have uh, Stata opened up with the data already uh, imported. So let's take a quick look at our data. We're gonna go to data, data editor. We'll just go to browse right here. You'll notice that we have a terminate variable which is coded zero and one. Uh, zero again is did not terminate early. One is did terminate early. We have avoidance of disclosure, symptom severity, gender identification coded zero for male, uh, identified as male, one for identified as female, and then income which is coded one for low, two for medium, and three for high. Now in Stata, you can use the logit command to run your logistic regression. So you'll type logit, followed by the name of your dependent variable, followed by the names of your independent variables. Now when you have a categorical, or when you have categorical predictor variables, you'll need to let Stata know to treat them as factors. By doing so, Stata will do the dummy coding for you. To have Stata treat a variable as a factor, type I, the prefix I dot um, before the name of your variables. So although gender identification could technically be included as a predictor without this recoding, uh, since it's already a dichotomous variable that's uh, dummy coded, I'm gonna go ahead and treat it uh, as a factor uh, for the purposes of this demonstration. So to perform our walkthrough, let's open up our text file that I was referencing earlier. And like I said, this will be made available underneath the video description. So what I've done is just uh, listed uh, basically what's, what analyses are being carried out and uh, the actual uh, syntax. So you'll notice that first off, we're gonna do the standard approach, run our regression analysis with the standard approach with logits. So we're gonna type in logit, that's to carry out the binary logistic regression, the name of our dependent variable, which is terminate, the name for our independent variables, which is avoidance of disclosure, there's symptom severity right here, gender ID with the I prefix, and income I, uh, variable with the I prefix. So basically the I prefix in both cases is gonna yield um, the analysis treating these variables as factors. So rather than me typing everything in directly into the command line, because that, that can take a while, um, uh, what I'm gonna do is copy this and I'm gonna paste it into the command line right here. So you can see at the bottom, um, that's what it looks like. So then after you do that, after you've typed this in, we'll just hit enter. And now you can see that we get our logistic regression results. Now again, for the purposes of this demonstration, uh, I'm not gonna go into the interpretation, but there's a lot on that in the PowerPoint. So again, be sure to check that out. So let's go to the next demonstration. In this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna report using odds ratios. So in this case, everything in our model is exactly the same, but we're gonna follow it up with a comma and then OR for odds ratio. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it into the command line as well and hit enter. And so now you can see that we have a column of odds ratios. Now let's say that we want uh, the hosmer show test results. Well, we can do that using the estat uh, command. So it's estat 
GOF for goodness of fit, comma, and then we have group and inside parenthesis 10 right here. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in as well and hit enter. And so now we have the Hosmer Lee Show goodness of fit test. If you want the Pearson chi square test, all you have to do is just type in estat followed by GOF. And so we'll just copy and paste that in again and hit enter. And so there you go. So there's the Pearson chi square test. If you want uh, classification results, such as uh, basically specificity and sensitivity, you can type in ESTAT classification. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll just type in ESTAT classification and then hit enter. And there you go. There's the results. If you want to obtain the Akaiki's information criterion and uh, Bayesian information criterion, then you'll type in ESTAT IC. So we'll type in ESTAT space, I see, and enter, and there are the results. Now, if you want additional FIT-related uh, information, uh, there's a nice package you can uh, download and install. It's uh, FIT stat. So basically, um, what you can do is just basically type in search SPOST9 uh, underscore ADO. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, paste that in right here into the command line. and hit enter. And so uh, you can see it shows up over here. So I'm just going to click on this. And basically, we'll just click on here to install. It was actually already insta installed, I believe. Or actually, I guess that was on my laptop at home. So it just it did install. And so now we can just uh, type in the command line. We'll type in fit stat and then enter. And so now you can get various measures of uh, fit for our model. Then finally, uh, to obtain our regression results with robust standard errors, we can just type in this, use the logic command again, basically type in everything that we had before, but now we're going to type in a comma, then VCE, and then robust inside parentheses. So we'll go ahead and put this in. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it into the command line. And so now we have our uh, coefficients interpreted in uh, units of, the, of logits. And then if you want to do the same thing with odds ratios, all we just do, all we do is just add an OR at the end and hit enter, and there are the results. Now I just walked you through uh, various commands, but obviously you can get a lot of this information by using the drop-down menus as well. So you can go to statistics, binary outcomes. You've got uh, logistic regression reporting coefficients, logistic regression reporting odds ratios. So uh, let's just go to coefficients right here for our first analysis, and we, we can just click on dependent variable. We'll click on terminate right here. And under independent variables, we can use our little drop down right here. We can ask for avoidance of disclosure, symptom severity. I'll go ahead and do gender ID and income here, but I need to put the I's in. So I'm just going to put an I before this. So I dot right here before gender ID and I dot before income. You could actually do that also through this route, but I'm just uh, keeping this a little simpler. Uh, next, uh, we can click on OK, and there's our results. You'll also notice that uh, if we go back through this uh, particular route under SE Robust, you'll notice that we have the option for robust standard errors right here. So we can click on OK right there, and there are our results. For uh, some of the post-estimation options, we can go to statistics, post-estimation here. Uh, we can click on this under specification, diagnostic, and goodness of fit analysis. You can see right here we've got goodness of fit tests. There's Pearson or Hosmer Lehman Show goodness of fit. You can make a decision between those two uh, right there. If you want the AIC and BIC, you can click right here as well. And if you want uh, summary stats, which includes the classification classification table, you can click right here. So uh, basically, I'll just go ahead and click on that just to demonstrate. I'll click on OK. And so now you've got the classification table. So that pretty much concludes this walkthrough of binary logistic regression. Like I said, check underneath the video uh, description. Uh, again, there's a link to the data. There's a link to the PowerPoint uh, that I started off with. And uh, there's a lot of information in there on how to interpret the various pieces of output. And then there's also uh, a link to the 
uh, notepad or the uh, text file that I was using throughout this presentation. Um, so at any rate, that concludes this video demonstration and I appreciate you watching.